It's interesting that one of our sponsors is Cabot Cheese um, because Cabot Cheese comes from Vermont and so does Phineas Gage. Um, and a lot of you may know the story of Phineas Gage, but I'll briefly tell you, for those of you who don't, Phineas Gage was a railroad worker and he's helping to put the railroad in from New York City up to Montreal and he happened to be working in Cavendish, Vermont, probably eating some Cabot Cheese, um, although maybe not because it was the 1800s. Um, but he was working and they were blowing off big pieces of rock in order to put the rail beds in. And what he, his job was to use this three foot, very pointy thing called a tamping iron to arrange the gunpowder in the holes. And um, something went wrong and it sparked and it actually blew the rod um, under his cheek as you can see here, it actually didn't, did not damage this eyeball, which is amazing. It pushed the eye to the side, and it came out the top of his head um, and actually flew, apparently flew about 30 yards from him. Um, the story goes that he did not fall down, did not lose consciousness, and I happen to be from New England, so I feel comfortable telling you that he probably said something like, geez. <laughs> That's my guess. I wasn't there, but that'd be my best guess. Um, so they, they took him actually, they took him over to Dartmouth Hitchcock and they patched up the hole in his head and they patched up the hole in his face and they said, you're fine. And they sent him back to his life. And he was fine. He was absolutely fine. Except for a tiny, tiny detail. He developed um, what, what any very well-trained clinician would recognize as um, becoming a total jerk. He became a total, he used to be a really nice guy. All of a sudden, he starts carousing. Um, he doesn't show up for work on time. He becomes impulsively angry, seemingly out of nowhere. His physician, in fact, wrote uh, in a paper that was published later, Gage is no longer Gage. Um, now, when you think about these things, these, these, these certain behaviors, so poor planning, uh, hard time regulating emotion, impulsivity, um, I don't know if it makes you think of any other group of people, but um, <laughs> there, there are some parallels um, between the symptoms. But at the same time, there's a very, very important distinction. Very important. Um, for Gage, the game's over. He got a pole through the head. He's a grown-up. He's got brain damage. Sorry, Gage. Game over. Um, our teenagers um, who have a frontal lobe that is developing, and Phineas Gage helped us know to look there in terms of development, they're still a work in progress. So Phineas Gage got us thinking, okay, you know, it might have this, this, this younger person's behavior might have something to do with a lack of frontal lobe growth. But they are very much a work in progress, and that frontal lobe is waiting for information from the environment and from experience to become mature. So it's, while it's a great comparison, and it really helps you think about some of the behaviors you might observe and you, how you can understand why you might observe them, um, this piece of brain isn't talking fluidly with the rest of the brain yet. It's still waiting for a lot of experience.